It's somewhat tarnished, but nevertheless, an impressive golden chain. The name Factor Manbuilt is etched into it. Probably mm. Oswald's thing. Feudal. How would that even... Much too quick to catch. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. That's never going to work. They picked the gear clean. Small gear. They picked the gear clean. Some kind of small metal disc with a U on it. It's some kind of small metal disc with a U on it. What is all that? It looks like a whole other city. That is Factor. It looks like some kind of radio tower. When we go to the tower, we have to assume Metro Mind will be waiting for us. Perhaps, perhaps not. To us, our mission is all-consuming, but to Metromind, we are one of a hundred problems. Tunnels cave in, bridges collapse, generators fail, foundations crumble. All these things require her attention. Okay, so that covers perhaps not. But what if she is there? What then? Then I will be pleased. That makes one of us. We have spent enough time talking. It looks like some kind of... Apparently all Okay. Well, done. Now the medal goes to Prima. Goodbye. Farewell, your mission. I think I found your medal, Primer. The medal's recovered, and the mission is done. I'd like you to reconsider helping us with the Council Code. I've said it before, I'll say it once more. The job is yours to open that door. I found your medal. Isn't that a reason to help? Very well, then, if that's what you want. Pass over the pieces to your loyal savant. The code is broken already. It must be made whole. I'll need some more pieces to finish that goal. I'll see what I can find. Information regarding the co 
information. The code fragments retrieve. Information regard. People. Information regard. Information regarding. I feel like we've got something. It... An impressive golden chain. I decided to stream a bit uh, later tonight, and I'm getting stuck into some more Campari tonic. I can't tonic. believe you voluntarily decided to Hope live down doing clarity. Well. It was not entirely voluntary. I mean, I get that you're trying to maximize the contrast between your sleek, sleek chassis and all this junk, but... That is not what I was trying to do. Mm. Well, it worked. Continue your irreverence at your own peril, Crispin. Mm. Clary is telling you not to be a creep, Crispin. Been to some job interview today. Oh, well, I hope it went well, Nubbits. Is it a job that um, you're really keen on getting, or is it just um, a stepping stone job? By the way, you said some, that would imply plural. Ah, watch me. Watch me do another uh, Campari tonic. Apprenticeship, huh? Um, say if you did get it, how many years would the apprenticeship be for? Three, four, five, one? Oh, I'm pouring myself an alcoholic beverage. I have not seen the streets of Metropol for a long time. I am not surprised to see that without law it has fallen into corruption and malfunction. Depends on uh, your future employer, I guess, yeah. It's Leopold. Alright, well, let's check out Leopold then. I need the council code, Leopold. Did Steeple ever tell it to you? Don't know what you're talking about, Tyro. You were built by Steeple, a member of the council. <laughs> Do I look like a council brat? Your name is Leopold Steeple Built. You said so yourself. So? Steeple was a member of the council before Metro Mind shut him down. He would have known the council code. Maybe he told it to you. Like I say, I don't know what you're talking Ooh. about. Steeple built. Metro Mind destroyed your builder and mine. She has broken metropolitan law and will be punished. Do not protect her. Listen, miss. I don't know who you think you're talking to. No, you listen to me, Scrap Ooh. Trader. Metro Mind has stepped outside the law. Justice is coming for her. I am coming for her. Dial down your squawk box. Sounds a little screechy. I don't know how I can be clearer. I don't know steeple. I don't know council. And sure as rust follows rain, I don't know any council code. Now you want to trade scrap, you're welcome to. But I'm through trade words. Ooh. Clarity Arbiter built. Now is not the time for idle chat. Let me see your stuff. Steeple we'll doing some bad up. shit right there. But I think he knows that uh, Metromind is observing his every move, so he's a bit... That there's an old note not interesting. The blood will bring you something... Okay, so I think first... So I think that's either Metromind or an avatar of Metromind. Alright, Oswald, the thing that um, Cornelius had, I think it was uh, the gold chain. That's what I think it was. Did Factor ever teach you the council code, Oswald? Ha! <laughs> Factor built half the robots in Metropole. Why, he made us pick our own names out of a book. Do you think he bothered with chit-chat? Somebody seems bitter. Seems? I do not seem. I am bitter. Bitterness is when your builder gives your twin brother a special gold chain and gives you nothing. 
bitterness is when your brother gives that very chain to you, you loan it to your only friend, and he loses it. Well, I'll hand it to you. That really does sound mm. broken out of the box. Which brother did Factor give the chain to, and why? Lawrence, of course, his favorite. As for why, does favoritism ever need a reason? Could Factor have told Lawrence the code? I have long since given up speculating that the partiality Factor could have shown him. I'm miserable enough from what I know for certain. Mm. What exactly happened with the gold chain? <sighs> Factor gave it to his favorite, my brother Lawrence. Okay. Lawrence gave it to me after I shared a large quantity of energy with him. And then, as I told you, I loaned it to Cornelius. I thought you hated Cornelius. Now I do. But then we were partners and friends. We had just built Rex. And we had scheduled a grand soiree and celebration. To complete my ensemble, he offered me a monocle that he claimed was given to him by Memorius. In exchange, I loaned him the gold chain, since it too came from a primordial machine. This is getting ridiculous. Indeed. Mm. And somehow Cornelius lost the chain. He claimed that it was taken from him by a servitor of Metromind as he left the subway station. Ridiculous! But Metromind would not have confiscated it without a legal basis. Not then. At this point, I can believe anything about Metromind. Believe whatever you wish. I know it was a lie. So I kept the monocle, and we have not spoken a word in kindness since. The chain. The monocle. Lawrence. One of them must be of use to us. Yep, Boz, at this point, can I suggest we just deactivate ourselves and quit? <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is like finding a bit in a terabyte. We are not giving up, period. Never give up. Do you know where I can find Lawrence? I'm on my brother's keeper. So you have no idea? None whatsoever. You see, the poor wretch drifted into overclocking and dissolution. That sounds familiar. To pay for a scandalous energy consumption, he bargained everything away to Metromind. I tried to warn him, but of course he never listened. Whoever does. And then, alas, he simply vanished. I searched for a time, but other matters drew my attention away. All the same, I'm sure he's scrounging in existence somewhere. Tell me more about your monocle. Upgrading your wardrobe, eh? A wise decision, though I would suggest that you start by discarding that rugged coat. I'm interested in Memorius, not fashion. And I'm curious what the monocle actually does. Ah, I was mm. told that Memorius built the monocle, but who can say? As for what it does, other than the narrow distinction, I'm rather uncertain. From time to time, I'll alter a snippet of text as I'm reading it. I have no idea how or why. In any case, the lexical inconvenience is more than offset by the sartorical benefits. Can I have the monocle? Give me. Excuse me? Give me. My friend just likes to collect scrap. Give me. Scrap. Ooh. Uh, I'm looking for things that might help uncover the council code. And why Hello, would my monocle do that? Because that's the way my besotting life seems to work. Look, I'm, I'm sure he'll trade it for something. That's also the way these things seem to go. Trade it? What do you take me for? Some mm. kind of junk dealer? Hey. Moreover, why, pray tell, should I help the robot who stole my Rex? I no one stole you. anything, Oswald. You wanted your case decided, and it was. That's right. Theft by the law is no different from theft against the law. Uh, Civilized people I give gifts. I think. Barter. Then will you give it to me? No. Well, we'll have to go about this some other way. Oh, let me see, um... This might make the uh, the sound go a bit worried for a bit. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, back to it. Okay, I guess maybe. Okay, I think I can be heard, like judging by the audio levels in uh, OBS. But if I have to, I could like reduce the sound of uh, of the game. Alright, I'll, I'll reduce the sound of the game a little bit. Alright, let's try. Let's try that. It's a little bit better, I think. I hope that fixed it. <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't know how far I, I am into the, the game camera, camera, but... Yeah, I'm just enjoying it. Uh, I, I didn't plan on playing it so long tonight, but, you know. Oh. 
Yeah, usually, like, if they're talking, like, I'll let them just go, because I, I want to hear the, the voice acting. But I'm, I'm hoping that, like, my voice can be heard over the, the game. It's, it's a little bit difficult. Sound is always difficult. So, he's not going to give me the monocle, but if I give him the gold chain... I have the monocle? No! I have no reason to give you a gift. Oh. Goodbye. Parting is so... Okay, let's give him that chain. Oswald, I found your chain. Well, I say... Chain game. After all this time, I never expected to see it again. Rather tarnished, though. Probably because it's been sitting in sludge down in the underworks. I see. Typical of Cornelius is clumsiness. Mm. Oswald, on the chain it says Factor Man Built. Metro Mind servitors throw anything that mentions man into the underworks. Well then, perhaps I misjudged Cornelius. You have my thanks, my child. Actually, I would rather have your monocle. That is only fair. After all, mm. I kept it because Cornelius never returned the chain. Since you brought the former, it perhaps be the latter of yours by right. That's right. Hey boss, can I wear it? No. But please. You need a monocle like I need an unpaired parenthesis. Come on, <laughs> boss. I'll look so great. Coveting is the root of crime, and poor vision is a sign of degeneracy. But dinoids love degenerates. Dinoids. And by the way, isn't Justice herself supposed to be blind? You are mistaken on the facts and the law, Crispin. He's insufferable enough already without a monocle. We're not going to encourage him with accessories. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so now let me see Monocle. It's actually a series of ultra thin lenses stacked on top of each other. It seems like it might be used for decoding visual data. Alright. It doesn't look any different. Mm. That's strange. When I look at this through the monocle, it reads, I remain within Memorius. Hmm. It doesn't look any. It doesn't look. It doesn't look. Okay. So, 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 so. Data. Right, we see. Yes, yes. Right. Ah. Oh. Steeple Factor Memorius. It's one of the memories down in it. Charity somehow destroys Arbiter and then shoots herself. It's one of the memories down in it. Arbiter and Metro Mind fight over Metro. It's one of the in it. Clarity is ordered to leave the courthouse. Yes, okay, yep. Yeah. The string of. Mm hmm. Write the story of 187. Okay. There was something I missed before. It was the um the two robots working on the uh the bus to the bus. And I didn't realize something before the uh encounter with Scraper. Just wonder, a tiny robot. I just wonder if that's gonna screw me over. Beep boo. <laughs> nice. Anyone home? Knocky knock. Alright. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he gonna give us any more dialogue? Let me see your stuff. Come take a No. Fuck it. Uh alright. Let's go back here. It doesn't look any different. So it says off duty. Off duty. And I thought that they would be hanging out of the bar, but they're not. It's a shame we had to death. Let me see if that uh, sad robot's still there. There's nothing we can. I am waiting. Tell me, Horatio, what do you intend to do when you have recovered your power core? Insert it in my inner. And what? Do I need something more than that? Yes, I think you do. Says the one who lived in the underworks. Yeah. Yes, says she. 
Oh, she's trying to 